This video is sponsored by Professional Photographers of America. Join a community of over 32,000 photographers that includes equipment insurance, education, and business tools made specifically for small business owners like you. We are uh, nearing late February right now and I still haven't put up walls yet. And part of that is because I've been so excited about my deck upstairs that I really wanted to work on that. Part of it is that I Still not entirely sure how I want to go about it. Today I am going to get hopefully all of the electrical sockets uh, and light switches and all that put into place. I hate electricity! Get the wire laid out. I'm not going to wire it up just yet, but uh, we can't put it in the walls until we run the electrical, so. Let's make who give a dirty. It's absolute insanity! Josh, can you come stand on the front of this for a second? No, who's just here? Damn it! I will admit, I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to electrical, but... Ah, these pre-tap, pre-tap, self-tapping screws have been such a nightmare. And as it turns out, I just needed longer screws. Mine were too short. Hey. Hi, it's me. Yeah, it's me. How's it going? Um, just, just your best friend calling to spill her anxiety on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect. Okay. Yeah, hold on one sec. Let me put the drill down. What? The nice thing about when there's four of us and we're all at different stages is a lot of times there's like this trickle down effect or like hand me down effect. So I'm making all these mistakes with my container, but by the time it gets to Jesse and Josh and Brandon, you know, I've kind of made those mistakes and hopefully learned from them so that they don't make the same mistakes. I've kind of done small pieces of construction before, but nothing on this scale. Zero experience, like high school, woodworking is the last time that I really used power tools. My dad, uh, when I was growing up, had his own construction business. We built basements from scratch, so this is functionally, we're treating it like a basement, you know? Put down the subfloor, put down the floor, uh, put in some studs, put up some walls, that's the plan. This. This is the advantage of going last because you get to see everyone else's screw-ups. Like this, this is good. This. He said he wished he had done this. So, okay, well, yeah, what is that there? I mean, it, I guess it spaces it out just so it keeps it more square or something. I mean, yeah. when he's here, we can have him explain it to me, but I remember specifically him saying, I wish I had done this on my door. My plan that I've realized is gonna work best for me is just stay one step behind Kristoff and copy everything that he does. I think I'm just gonna do what Kristoff did. I'm gonna fasten the chipboard to the walls. I don't personally care if they're not perfectly straight and I'm not too worried about the insulation, so I just gotta move forward, otherwise I'm never gonna have an office. Also, if I'm nice and sweaty, oh, I'm real sweaty, I've been skateboarding. It's, I, Cause why not, right? probably stop skateboarding because I'm just doing it in my winter boots and I'm already starting to rip out the toe. <sighs> I guess I need to buy skate shoes again. Brandon and Josh ended up framing out and drywalling their unit so that they could insulate it nicely. But we're gonna have 
some amount of temperature control in the building. So I'm not too worried about insulating it. Alrighty. Hi, future Jesse here, or present day for you, maybe it's past it. Doesn't really matter. I just wanted to let you know about a couple of different things. One is we're currently in the process of getting new concrete floors, getting some new windows back here, and we're building a really nice photography studio. And this is exciting because it's gonna give us something different than just the rustic warehouse aesthetic we have here. We're also gonna have something nice and polished and professional for those kinds of shoots. And speaking of photographers renting studios, that brings us to today's sponsor, which is the Professional Photographers of America. So whether you are a small business just getting started, or you've been at this for a while and you're turning your old rustic warehouse of a business into something a little more polished, PPA might be just what you need. Now with PPA, you're gonna get up to $15,000 worth of equipment insurance. And along with that, they're gonna offer you full replacement coverage at a flat $350 deductible. Or if you're looking to get your equipment repaired instead of replaced, you can do that at a flat $50 deductible. Along with that insurance, they also offer a whole host of other features, including things like client contracts, model release forms, even access to their data recovery services. A lot of these services, you're not gonna need them all the time. And some of them, you're only gonna need them in the event of a worst case scenario. But the truth is, accidents can happen anywhere to anyone. And some people maybe more than others. But this is why it's good to make sure you've set your business up in a responsible way so that you can keep doing the thing you love for as long as possible. If you wanna learn more about PPA, click the link down in the description to get yourself a special offer. And as always, thank you so much to PPA for sponsoring this video. My arm hurts holy bedanzies. I'm in the big leagues, told him don't miss me. I'm making his dog, like I'm in the big leagues. Told him that I gotta go dog. I'm riding a road job. I think that I'm back in my bag now. So I need that go y'all. Got hits when they throw in the fastball. Just too quick for it, peeling off like the whip horn. Oh, Seen it after this piss poor, I got too much, I gotta tend to. Car payments and the rent due. Told y'all that I'm six foot, but with the money stabbing, I'm ten to. Too much that I've been through, so I put it all in that rear view. Clean money in a blue. I just got my first coat of primer on in there yesterday. Today's Friday, March, like a fourth or fifth, I'm not sure, something like that. I'm hoping to get a coat or two of paint on today and then maybe this weekend put some floors down, which means Monday, if all goes to plan, I could have my desk set up in here and I don't know, spend a few weeks working on videos because I'm definitely falling behind. Yeah, that's what I wanna to do today. I see you, squirrel. Huh? What are you gonna do? Had a few friends, but they suck in the past. I don't even trip when I'm thinking about that. Hopped in a whip and we all in black. Shawty wanna ride to the hop in the- The first coat of paint is done in here and whole, it makes such a big difference. I should be okay with this color. Time will tell. I'm gonna go home.